So you may have heard that Congress just voted to mandate a kill switch in every vehicle sold in the United States after 2026. Now, this kill switch would enable the vehicle itself to monitor your driving patterns, and then the vehicle would decide if it doesn't like the way you're driving. <laughs> yeah, right. And then, if it doesn't like the way you're driving, apparently, it shuts off, stranding you wherever you happen to be when you're driving in a way that the vehicle decides it doesn't like. Can you imagine? Now, this thing is going to be a nightmare. And even right now, I'm going to say, don't buy any vehicle with this, quote, feature in it. You know, it's not a feature. It'd probably be a felony to disable it, too, you know, come to think of it. But people, of course, will disable it everywhere. But what if you're driving in high winds? I mean, I've driven across Wyoming, for example, or Colorado, and <laughs> the winds can get insane. I'm talking like 80 mile an hour winds buffeting you from the side. So your car is like all over the road, you know, you're trying just not to die, trying to keep it on the road. And sometimes the big rig trucks have turned over because of the wind. That happens with some regularity in uh, southeastern Wyoming, by the way. But what if you're, you're being blown all over the road and you're trying to correct and the car's software is thinking, oh, this person must be drunk, you know? And so then they shut off your car. Now you're stuck in an 80 mile an hour windstorm with no transportation. Can you imagine the lawsuits that are going to come from that? <laughs> I can't wait to see those lawsuits because when you buy a car, you know, you're supposed to be buying the right to use it. I mean, there are going to be major lawsuits about this. No question about it. Even the car companies probably don't want this. Why, why would they? I mean, they're not liable for drunk drivers right now. But adding this, quote, feature to the vehicles just makes them liable for all of the bad decisions made by the car. What if you're on a really bumpy country road full of potholes? And you're dodging potholes, man. Or... You're dodging, I don't know, whatever, like animals on the road or something. And the car just decides you must be drunk and it shuts you off. I mean, this is going to happen. Now, the other thing that we know from watching Boeing, for example, is that anytime transportation vehicles or airplanes, when they get too complicated and there are too many lines of code involved, somebody sooner or later writes bad code. Bad code causes bad problems like, oh, I don't know, 737 MAX airliners falling out of the sky and killing everybody, you know, that kind of thing. But in a vehicle, it can cause all kinds of horrible problems like, for example, shutting off your vehicle when you're in the middle of, uh, let's say, you know, like an eight lane highway in California or, you know, somewhere on the East Coast and you're on the inside lane, the fast lane, doing whatever, and suddenly your car shuts off. You can't escape that lane on foot, and you're probably gonna cause a massive pileup of a, a huge accident behind you when your car stops. You can't just stop in the fast lane on an eight lane highway. I mean, give me a break. This feature is gonna get people killed. And of course, it's all pushed under the umbrella of saying, you know, this is going to save lives from drunk drivers. Well, how many people is it going to kill from stalling vehicles out on the road? I mean, everybody listening to this who is a first responder, you know what I'm talking about. Like if you're a cop listening to this, you know that the most dangerous thing that you can do in traffic is to be stopped. Like you pulled somebody over. Let's say maybe you're a state trooper listening. You pulled somebody over and they decided to pull over in a really dangerous area where there's so much traffic going by just, you know, inches or a foot or two from your vehicle. And in fact, state troopers are trained to park their vehicle sticking out just a little bit more than the perp that they chased down or whoever they stopped so that there's kind of a shielding effect. That's actually one, one of the principles of, uh, that, that they're trained to do. Now, a smart person or a caring person, when they're pulled over by a cop or pulled over by a state trooper, 
they will look for a safer place to pull over so that the state trooper doesn't get mowed down by traffic, right? I mean, people should just be thoughtful about this. <laughs> Even if you're being pulled over, you know, pick a safer spot, even for your own sake. But now with this kill switch in the cars and trucks and vans and everything else, again, everything after 2026, with this kill switch, the car pulls you over itself and it doesn't care where you are. I mean, you could be in the middle of like a, like a riot. You could be in the middle of a mob. You could be actually in a situation where a law enforcement officer is directing you to go. They're like, go, go, go. Like maybe there's been an accident and they're directing you around an accident and your car decides, ah, we're not going to go. Now you're stalled out and you're blocking traffic behind you. You're pissing off the cop in front of you and they're probably going to write you a ticket for blocking traffic. You know, the, the cop will come up, go, go, go. And you're like, I can't, my car, my car turned off, you know, going to be lawsuits. Now with this feature, by the way, here's where this is going. Big brother. So when you buy a car in your own name, that car's ID, the VIN number is attached to your social in essence. Through, through databases. Well, if it's got a kill switch in it, and by the way, this already is the case with OnStar satellites and so on, but it's only going to be a matter of time before the government steps in, the federal government, like the DOJ or the FBI. They're going to step in at some point and say, hey, we need to stop this guy's car because, I don't know, he's getting away or something, or he's unvaccinated we got to stop that car. How are they going to do that? <laughs> Very simple. They're just going to activate the kill switch. You're done. You know, you're done. You can't drive. You can't go anywhere. The government turned off your vehicle. And again, that can be very dangerous for you and other drivers around you. I mean, this is a bad idea to put kill switches in vehicles based on computer code written by people who may or may not have any skill at writing good code or, or even, even their logic might be bad. Like, oh, if, if the car is weaving, then, you know, shut it off. Well, you could be weaving for legitimate reasons. You could be dodging things. You might be in a life-threatening situation and the vehicle kill switch enhances the threat to your life. So folks, you know, be careful of any kind of smart things, smart homes, smart vehicles, smart appliances, things that take control away from you. This is a very bad idea. It's going to end up getting a lot of people hurt or killed. And they're going to be lawsuits galore. And this is a, um, a horrible idea from Congress. It's horrible that they did this. Absolutely horrible. But thank you for listening. Mike Adams here, the health ranger naturalnews.com, and of course, brighteon.com. Be safe. Take care. Thank you for supporting us here at brighteon.com. And one way you can also help support us is by shopping at healthrangerstore.com. And we've got some really exciting new products to share with you here today. Uh, I've got samples on my desk, and there's three things to mention here. The one on the left, it's called Hydrate Elementals. It's a combination of coconut water powder, certified organic, and Aquaman, which is a mineral supplement that has some very special, unique properties. Uh, this is about mineral replenishment and hydration. You can learn more about it at our website, healthrangerstore.com. It's very popular, especially with people who do any kind of fitness or workouts. We've also got here on the right side, a new trail mix product. This has coconut chips and nuts and uh, you know almonds and walnuts plus raisins it's a very delicious trail mix and it's not just a bunch of junk and a bunch of crumbs and byproducts of nut processing i mean these this is a high-end trail mix all certified organic all lab tested including for glyphosate and heavy metals and more uh, check it out at healthrangerstore.com you're really going to enjoy this and then finally, in the middle there, we have something brand new that I'm super excited about. It's a pine needle nasal spray. And that's in the green 
little small vials there with the uh, the nasal spray aerosolized tip on the top. I personally harvested the pine needles for this in Texas. They are loblolly pine trees because the pine needles are extremely high in shikimic acid. And then I oversaw the extraction of the shikimic acid and then the mixing of that into this formula. You can read the ingredients on our website. But this product is not being sold. It's only available for free as a bonus giveaway during our Black Friday sale event that's coming up. And watch for that. Join our email list. You'll get the announcements. You, you get you know, all the links to participate in that. The only way that you can get that nasal spray with the shikimic acid using pine needles that I personally harvested in Texas is through the Black Friday event at healthrangerstore.com. And during that event, by the way, it's our biggest sale of the year. We're going to have the most products on discount, all kinds of amazing discounts, including on third-party products that are drop shipped and so on. It's wait till you see the catalog and the landing page for that. It's going to be quite impressive, but you definitely want to take advantage of that and get some of this pine needle nasal spray and look up shikimic acid too, because that's the molecule that is used to make uh, Tamiflu, by the way. Very interesting fact. Uh, also, one more thing on our website, healthrangerstore.com, we now have available certified organic heavy cream powder. We've got it in pouches and number 10 cans. And this heavy cream powder is, of course, you know, laboratory verified. It's tested for you know, heavy metals and glyphosate and, and microbiology as well. And there's no junk in here. It's literally powdered heavy cream. It's not just maltodextrin and, and you know, a bunch of garbage with cream flavor. None, none of that stuff. This is the real deal. That's why it's not cheap, by the way. But if you want to add to your food storage pantry, heavy cream, this goes a long way. And we also have, by the way, we have now organic white cheddar cheese powder, also in number 10 cans and pouches as well. So you can make your own macaroni and cheese pretty easily by combining this cheese powder with the organic cream powder and some salt and pepper and some onion powder and get yourself some, you know, organic macaroni and it's all done. You have a really nice meal. So take advantage of this at healthrangerstore.com and that will also help support this platform. We thank you for your support and I'm committed to bringing you more interviews, more content, more analysis each and every day that helps you understand what's happening in our world, helps you navigate it, and also importantly, helps you survive it. Thank you for supporting us here at Brighteon.com and healthrangerstore.com. Take care. A global reset is coming, and that's why I've recorded a new nine-hour audiobook. It's called The Global Reset Survival Guide. You can download it for free by subscribing to the naturalnews.com email newsletter, which is also free. I'll describe how the monetary system fails. I also cover emergency medicine and first aid and what to buy to help you avoid infections. So download this guide. It's free. It's my gift to you simply because I want like-minded people to survive.